eighty for a thousand dollars per month. That's one hell of a number, isn't it? Well, did you know eighty four thousand dollars a month times twelve is a million dollars a year? Simple math, right? Men lie, women lie. Numbers they never lie. There's a lot of talk about creating million dollar businesses online, but there is not much talk on the process. In this Hustler's Kung Fu Drop, I'm going to give you the process and some methodologies on how you can make a million dollars a year. Yeah, I'm going, to, I'm going to give it to you. Just give it to you. And we're going to start with you. You have a service or you have a product or you're like me, an information marketer. You've got something that you're putting out into the world, right? Now, whatever that is, I want you to take it whatever the price point it is, and divide that by a million dollars. Yeah, one million. Go ahead. I'm going to do, because one of the things that I'm launching softly, it's not a lot of fanfare, it's a t-shirt business. But see, I'm in no hurry to make this t-shirt business a super business overnight. I have a two-year plan on this. But we'll take my t-shirts, right? Now, let's go with... Just basic numbers, because I'm going to sell my T-shirts for more than this. Oh, $25, right? Let's go ahead and do a million, because I got the calculator out. Because, you know, one of the things about the Internet is if you're one decimal point off, there's somebody, you got it wrong, man. You got it wrong. Just like they have nothing else to do. And you take the million, and you divide it by 25. So that's 40,000 shirts. But uh, we're not done yet. So you know you got to sell 40,000 shirts. So what you're going to do is to divide that 40 by 12. And that's going to give you 3,333 shirts per month. Then you're going to divide that times four, which is going to give you 833 shirts per week. And you divide that times seven, and that gives you 100 Let's say 119 shirts. No, I think it's, I don't know if that's correct. Maybe at the wrong number. But you get the whole, you get the, you get the genesis. You get the genesis of it. Because, and that's not even profit. That's just gross sales. Now, if you want to create this business, you have to get real. And I'm going to say something that many of the follow your passion people will jump all over me, but I don't give a fuck. Nope. No, I really don't care. All passions, all things do not equate to million dollar businesses. Just don't. It's about audience. It's about marketplace. It's about who is going to buy your stuff. Now, with my t-shirt business, t-shirts are a multi-billion dollar a year business. But... The way that I want to do T-shirts, I know that not that many people are going to buy them. I'm doing it because I want to do it, and it's fun. But if you're doing this to make money to live on or to create a legacy, you have to retrain your brain and start looking at business totally differently. You have to go in and it's like, okay, well, there's what I want to do, right? And there's what will bring me the money. And it becomes really, really hard because right now the whole thing is leave your job, start a business, follow your passions. I know a bunch of people who are doing that and I know a bunch of people who are fucking struggling. Now, you will see someone who's following their passion and they're making a lot of money. And you're like, see, but... The late, great Paul Harvey, who used to be this radio announcer, and he had this thing, and he's like, and that's the rest of the story. Well, I'm going to kind of twist it up a little bit. Like, what's the rest of the story? When I look at people or out of the YouTube channel or out of the website, I don't just look at the numbers. I look at the connections. I connect the dots. Oh, you might have this person who's doing really well doing this thing, but you don't know how they were positioned. Some people worked really hard to position themselves in the right spot. Some people were like neighbors with the right person. I mean, it's just you, you never know unless you ask and you start to look and you begin to understand how business works. It's very, very important. But that's enough of that. 
let's just talk about how you can make $84,000 per month consistently and create that first million dollar business. Number one, you got to look at your product mix. You got to look at your audience, what people will buy, and you have to look at what you're capable of fulfilling. When I was a reseller, I used to be one of those eBay, Amazon guys. The bottleneck was me. That was the bottleneck. I had a partner, and it got to the point where the bottleneck was us. And we had to buy time, which is hire employees. There's this fantasy that you can make all of this money, work from your phone, never hire anybody, don't talk to anyone, and just make all this money. Now, will someone do it? Probably. Has someone done it? Yep, there's one person that's done it that I know of, maybe more. But going back and looking at it, none of these people were brand new. The one guy that did it had 20 years experience. 20 years experience. But people are just like, well, see, well, he made a million dollars a year by himself. Well, look at that. But see, this is the thing. Uh, Today, I had to do something in the bank. And I'm running around crazy. I did not have my uh, wallet. <laughs> I did not have my ID. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm, I'm like driving around with no wallet, no ID, just crazy. And I went in there and I was just like, let me try, right? You know, you never know. So I go in and the girl's like, hey, how you doing? I haven't seen you in a while. I said, all right, this situation, I need to make this transaction, but I don't have my, oh, I know who you are. Boom. And I got my stuff done and I made my appointment. So relationships, and that's just usually, that's a very small thing. That's something that we all can develop. If you have a bank, you go in there consistently, you develop a rapport. But I'm just saying that this person who worked behind the counter was so sure of who I was because of the relationship that has been developed over years that she easily, and the manager was right there. I was like, hey, how you doing? Manager, you bad eye. Now, Let's just say that I went in that branch every now and then and I was trying to run that transaction and they didn't know me. Uh, Sorry, sir, you need to go get your ID. That's just the power of relationships. Relationships are very, very powerful. And I say that because um, many people, I'll, I'll say this, who are internet marketers, they make most of their money on relationships, not the shit that they sell you. I know I'm not supposed to say that, but that's the game. Because do this, when you're getting out here on the internet marketing trail and you start getting on this list and you, you, everybody seems to know everybody at a certain level, and then when someone has an offer, but you're on 8, 9, 10, 15, 12 different lists, right? You're getting offers, you know, it's like you keep seeing the same person all over. It's like, hey, I'm here with my friend, blah, 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 and this is my friend's offer, blah, blah, blah. Now... You're not being taught to go out and create joint venture partnerships. You're being taught to follow your passion. Go back in your memory banks and look at all the people that recently that you look up to and see how many of them have did their lunch, your product lunch, all by themselves using the very tools that they tell you to use. It's not that many. Some for you to think about. All right. But you got your audience. You got your product and your fulfillment. You can start with what you have, but you have to understand that you have to push because going back to what happened to us was we had to improve the container. Your business can only grow as big as the container that you set it up in. So if your container is a one-man operation, you're only going to go so far. So if you want to build a seven-figure business, know from day one that you need to hire someone. And the sooner you hire someone and maintain an employee, the better off your business will be and the faster it will grow. So that's one thing. You need the right product mix. You need the right price points. And you need employees. Now, there are many people who's like, hey, what should I sell? Where should I sell it? And my question to you is, where are you positioned? Do you know somebody friend, family, neighbor that has products you can sell. 
it, start digging into your resources. And this is something that just drives me crazy. You have people who have f- fundamental resources and will completely ignore those resources and go way over to the Internet to try to sell some stuff to some strangers from a very weak position. I am an Internet marketer. I sell online products, but I've been doing this for eight years. And I will tell you, my first few months, I worked very hard and I made no money. Nothing. I was living on savings. And a lot of people won't tell you that because it's just like, well, hey, you buy my product in 30 days, you'll be making money. Now, once again, this does happen. It's very possible. It's just not likely. Uh, More than likely, you would do better doing this, taking your service product or whatever you have going locally and getting as much traction as you can because see one of the reasons that I was able to come online and start making money fairly soon not immediately you know fairly soon being three and a half months was I had a robust business education so I knew that I had to advertise and (laughs) knew that I had to promote I knew that I had to have certain price points Uh, my first my first goal was to make fifty thousand dollars a year and I had a $25 product, and I knew I had to make 2,000 sales per year. That was the math. Many of you are not doing that kind of math. Like I said, if you would add up everything that you have to sell, if you like have a physical product, and it wouldn't pay all your bills. And that's the problem, because your container is not large enough. Now, I'm not going to leave you hanging. So for those of you who care... What I want you to do is go under this Hustlers Kung Fu Drop, and there's a link, and it's going to take you to a survey. And I'm going to see who's really about that $84,000 per month life because there's a certain group of people I can take there and take to the next level. Can I take everybody? No. I mean, if you're Broke Dick Danny, that's right, Broke Dick Danny, or you're Penniless Priscilla, uh, I can't help you because... Your life is damn burning. I mean, your life's in flames. You need to balance out, which means you may have to, you got to go get a job or two or three. And balance out, get yourself stable, and then come back and try to do something. Because it is very hard to build and survive at the same time. Takes the same kind of energy. So go ahead and get that survival thing done and then start building. That's what I did. I mean, I'll tell you, but go below, hit that link and take the survey. And if you are about that $84,000 a month life, I'll call you back. If not, thanks for your time. I really appreciate you taking the survey. So with that, if you want more drops like this, be sure to like, follow and leave a comment. And there'll be a lot more of this stuff. A lot more.